Guy named Mick Meyer exposes Team 10 and out someone's sexuality. But Mick left some things out, so make sure you stay until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of the receipts. What up everyone? It's your boy Martin Lewis! Sup Team Real? Welcome to my channel where I call out YouTubers and talk about YouTube drama. So a guy named Mick Mayo makes a video exposing Group 10 and outing Nick's sexuality. There are some things that Mick left out of that story and it's like, it kind of looks like he changed the story around to make it look like something that it isn't. And I'm about to show you everything that I have. I did contact Nick, I was able to get a little bit of the information, a clump of the story, not the full story. I did contact Mick as well on Instagram and it looks like he hasn't seen my message or maybe he chose to ignore it, I don't know, but I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Let's get straight into the drama. Before we move forward, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future drama regarding this situation. Okay, time for introduction. Get ready because this is a big one. Team 10, the channel that Mick was exposing, is a YouTube channel over a million subscribers named by a guy named Jake Paul. And what we do is we make videos, we live together, we collaborate together, and that's the beauty of it. It's really just a group of like-minded individuals who've come together from different parts of the world and are just creating content with one another. And fortunately, we live with one another and we just do everything together. And it's a lot of fun. The best part about it is that we're all young and aspiring to do big things in Hollywood. We all just teamed up and help each other out. That's a lot of energy, goddamn. So there are 10 members of this group. We have Tessa Brooks, the Martinez twins, Hans and Anthony, Christian Tails, AJ Michael, Alex Lang or Lange, I think he's like the youngest one of the group. And we have Jake Paul, I believe he's like the creator of the group. There's been a lot of drama regarding him, his brother because of this rap thing and his ex-girlfriend. If you really, that's, ugh, that's a whole other video people's, like legit a whole other video. He has over 4 or 5 million subscribers, he's a part, he was a part of some Disney show that I really, I don't know, I never heard of it, some Disney show. And you have Nick Crompton, which we're mainly going to be talking about in today's show. Nick Crompton gained his popularity from, on YouTube, he was from the UK, um, he then became a co-founder of a social media marketing agency, agency called Social Chain, and now he's like the CEO of group 10. I did reach out to him on Twitter letting him know that I was going to make a video about this and I wanted to get his side. He did contact me but I think he contacted me in the hopes that if he shared his side that I wouldn't make a video. I wanted to ask you that you don't make a video about it because I'm not ready for everyone to know about his sexuality which I won't go into full detail about it but look at the end of the day guys this video is already public this information is already public and far out it's a good story okay call me and not only that it looks like this guy Mick hasn't really showed the full story and he could be lying to you guys. I'm someone that wants to get to the bottom of things, work things out, why do people do things that they, you know, it's just, I can't let this go. So yeah, I'm going to do this story and he knows that as well. I think that's why he hasn't continued talking to me because he knows I'm gonna talk about it. Like I said, I only have a clump of the story, not the full thing, but with this clump that I have, we can kind of work out what's going on and work out some of the stuff that Mick has not told you guys because it looks like Mick wants you to see the story in a different light than what it is. For you guys who don't know Mick, he is a YouTuber for over 2,000 subscribers. He's a model from Melbourne. He's got around, man, I think way over 60 or 50,000 followers on Instagram. Five days ago, he made a video about exposing Team 10. In this video, he's basically talking about how he was in LA and basically he tries to make out as if Nick will only let him be a part of Team 10 if he did certain things for him and when you look at the receipts that he shows it's not really the case. Let's just get straight into this video and today I'm mainly going to talk about Nick. I'm not going to talk about the other things. That's probably another video if you guys want me to continue talking about this drama. So let's look at this drama and break it down. So 
Um, I went to LA in February. I met with Nick Crompton my first night in LA. We had dinner. It was really cool. Um, bear in mind, I'm straight. Nick's gay. He outed Nick's sexuality in Pride Month. <laughs> At least he did it in Pride Month, god damn. Seriously, it isn't cool to out people's sexuality like that. Like, let's say Nick was cheating on a girl, then I guess it's okay to tell that girl, hey, Nick's cheating on you with like a guy. But if he's not like doing stuff like that, I don't think it's cool to share someone's sexuality. I think it's, it's their place to talk about it. And that's why I'm not going to really go into detail about his sexuality. I think that is up to Nick to sh really share and get into detail about it. But like I said, this is already out there, so it's not like I'm committing a crime talking about it on my channel. If I am, let me know in the comment section, or you can vote in the little poll that I'll have at the end of the video. And that kind of formed a bit of a barrier right from the outset. Um, he was only interested in um, signing me to Team 10 if he had certain things um, I did to make him happy, and obviously that wasn't going to happen. So um, we never came to an agreement, and that's basically the main reason behind Team 10. I'll show you some screenshots up here. He's saying that he could be a part of Team 10 if he like fulfilled Nick's happiness and certain requirements that Nick had. But the thing is, he never actually showed evidence of Nick saying, hey, if you want to be a part of Group 10, Team 10, sorry, you have to do this, this, that, you know what I mean? So he hasn't really provided any evidence of this. But let's look at the receipts that he did have. You look hot as F here. Can I suck your beep yet? Yeah. Persistence. Not working though. Not a lot working, my friend. Okay, so here you have a guy being a typical guy asking someone that he's attracted to if he could suck his lollipop. I'm being family friendly. It's not like, hey, suck my lollipop and I'll put you in Team 10. Here he is talking about how people can do two things or whatever. And then he says, like, you do a bit of both. So I suppose what I'm saying is, we can do business while I suck your d Ha 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 ha. See, he's making a joke like, hey, you could do this whilst you suck my, you know, give me a BJ. He's not saying, if you do this, I'm going to put you in. You know what I mean? You can really read this and take it out of context. So there's no actual hardcore evidence of Nick saying, okay, look, if you do this and provide all these pleasures for me, I will put you in group 10. So... Already he's taken this and it looks like that he's trying to make it out as something as it's not. People, and I mean, the way they go about things just isn't right and I, I think that's that's the main issue and it kind of frustrates me. And as, as you saw from the screenshots there, that's the wrong mentality to have. You sign someone based on talent, not getting what you want out of someone. Again, that is not proof of him saying, hey, these are the requirements for you to be a part of Group 10. So I was able to contact Nick to get his side of the story, and this is what he had to say. Honestly, I'd rather not draw more attention to Mick or this situation. His video has already added me online as gay, and now I'm having to defend myself by taking, talking about my personal life. He's seen the Teen Tem is getting a lot of attention right now and just wants the views. I told him from the very beginning that I liked him, and he used that to try and get what he wanted. I never said I'd give him anything or help him with anything in return for anything. Which is true, there's no hardcore evidence of Nick saying, hey, do this for me and I'll put you in group 10. I did ask Nick, like, hey, did you make it clear to Mick that you liked him? And do you have evidence of this? Like, screenshots? He has not given it to me and that's because, like I said, I think he knows I'm going to do a video about it and that's why he doesn't want to talk about it. We've spoken every night on the phone for hours as we went to sleep. We text 24-7 we text and when he came to LA, hung out all the time. I genuinely grew feelings for him and I told him that if he was using me to try and grow on social media, then we need to stop talking. Of course, thinking that this was a mutual thing, I talk sexual sometimes, but only because he led me on and made it seem like he was okay with it. At any point, he would have said that he wasn't comfortable with anything we were talking about, then obviously I would have stopped, but he never did because he thought it would get him somewhere. Now, what I'm about to show you are allegedly text messages between Mick and Nick, and it does show that they have spoken about this before, and this is something that Mick left out. After hearing what you said and put into perspective what was happening, you think for me to help you, you have to keep me happy or something, and that's not who I am. I really fancy you, and yeah, I want to do it with you, but not if it's because you're only doing it to work up in life. I don't think you've ever do what we was talking about by choice. I'm f 
when it comes to my feelings and emotions. So to pile all this on top of it too is just one huge cluster that I CBA with. You're straight, I'm gay, that's quite black and white, and we're mates, and I'll look out for you, but that's it. I don't FaceTime or talk to anyone else the way we do, or as much as we do, so it's confusing and therefore needs to stop. It's not fair. We're cool. Here he is expressing the fact to Mick that he likes him, and the reason why there's black dots is because they're curse words. This is something really important that Mick had left out in his story, that Nick expressed that he liked him. Him. And Nick also talked about how he's not that type of person for him to keep him happy He has to do certain things for him. See Nick had left this Mick Sorry has left this out in his video to make us think that Nick is this Horrible guy that wants him to do things to keep him happy to be able to be a part of Team 10. Nick ended up saying to him look I get you I get what you say and I understand I want you I understand. I want you to know that you become the only person I know and I can trust in LA. I have no friends. I have no one to go to. You know this homesickness is going to be my huge issue. That's why talking to you provides me at least with the feeling that someone cares for me and I have someone I can go for, to for advice or just someone to talk to and enjoy moments with. Yes, I can't offer you what you want. As much as it sucks putting everything to side I don't even care about. I just want the ability to have that person I trust and love and you're that that guy. If this means we stay as friends and you watch my back and I watch yours, then I'm cool with that because that would mean f everything to me. I know you probably don't think that, but seriously, just talking to you has eased so much of the pressure I feel. I hope you're still in for lunch and so on. I know it may not help me get what I want, but right now I don't even care. You're way more than that. You're a friend, someone I cherish, and I hope you're cool with that. Nick ends up saying you've made this so difficult. I know, trust me, I know. But like, even writing that message brought me to tears. I'm an emotional sometimes. Stuff like this hits me hard. Now, just a little warning, I could be taking this out of context, but looking at this shows that Mick knows what he did was wrong, which I'm guessing talking to Nick all the time and allegedly leading him on. Saying this, this is dated back in February. The messages that Mick has showed were in April, I believe, yeah, in April. So Nick knew that Mick didn't like him and still was persistent with him. This just shows that you can't be friends with someone that likes you, you know what I mean? You can't friend, so friend zone someone because they're always going to try and be persistent. Also saying that Nick should have respected Mick Oh my god, those names are so gonna be annoying in this video. Nick and Mick. <laughs> Nick should have respected him and not keep on persisting him after he told him what was up and, you know, that he's straight. You know what I mean? And at the same time, I still don't have the messages from the start on, like, how they met, what the conversation was like, was Mick really leading Nick on, you know? So I can't really confirm that because we don't have the best receipts here. Nick also messaged me here that he's, when he stopped talking to him, he posted the video. It's been months since we last spoke, so it's quite clear to me why he's decided to make some stuff up now, which is very interesting because it was only June the 1st that Mick posted a photo with him and Nick and the others talking about their mixtape. I'm guessing that was about the rap that Paul produced on his channel. And it's kind of funny because he's downplaying it in this video about the rap. And especially with these terrible songs that they're coming out with recently, like um, the way they diss other people, I, th I feel like uh, I have a right to give back. But yet he shouted them out on his Instagram. Unless I'm wrong and they're talking about some other mixtape, I don't know, maybe I'm taking it out of context. But by looking at this, Mick hasn't provided any evidence or proof that Nick was telling him that he had to do things to be able to be a part of Group 10. So it looks like Mick has been lying to you guys to sell this story to make Mick, Nick look really bad. Paul run house, and when I say Jake Paul run house, I mean Jake Paul runs the house. Um, those guys are slaves. Every single person in our house is a slave to Jake Paul. Um, whether they believe it or not, they know they are. The whole point of Team 10 is to make Jake Paul more famous. It's got nothing to do with influencing um, people. It's, it's about making Jake Paul more money. 
Okay, maybe this is true and this is probably another video that I have been a lot of drama regarding the group Paul's ex-girlfriend has spoke out about it. That's another drama story and if you really guys want me to look into it and analyze it I did watch his ex-girlfriend's video just a little bit and there were some things I questioned But yeah, if you guys really want me to investigate that let me know in the comment section below But anyway, Nick had this to say he only ever came to the team at 10 house twice Yet he acts like he knows everyone. Maybe that is true that Mick's only been at the house twice, but he has also gone out with them. He hung out with Nick a lot. So maybe Nick, what he's saying is right, you know? But at the end of the day, it doesn't really look like those people are doing everything just for Paul. You know, a lot of, you know, being a part of Paul's life, these guys who are part of the 10, Team 10 or whatever, they are getting a lot of exposure. And a lot of their social medias have grown a lot and doing really well. So I think they're all benefiting from it, you know? And to be honest with you, Team 10 aren't really making that much money. Yeah, he says that Team 10's not making a lot of money. I actually looked at social. That channel is making around $28,000. Usually social blade is wrong. You're usually, you know, from my experience, I've made more than from what social blade has said. But let's play devil advocate. If we were to calculate that, that's around two thousand and eight hundred dollars each for, um, of the members of the group. That doesn't include. Um, their merch that they've sold, how they're going on tour, so they're obviously going to make money from that. And also, their channels are doing really well. So, alone from their channels separately, they're, you know, building a stream of income from those channels. So, they're obviously making pretty good money. If they weren't, I don't think they'll be continuing, you know, being a part of Team 10 and all that jazz. No Team 10 in this industry, you understand that Team 10 are just a bunch of tools. They're not the people they portray themselves to be. They're egotistical, power driven, and it's just awful. Okay, again, it's quite funny that he says that about the group, but it was only a couple of days ago that he shared that group and the photo on his Instagram, and he still has it on his Instagram. You know what I mean? Saying that, looking at Paul and some of the actions that he's done, um, he is a pretty egotistical guy. Nick has also made some other claims on this video, but I haven't looked into it. It's like a whole nother video. You guys know I have some big friends in LA, so hopefully I can get some sources and get some information for you guys. Hey, if any of you guys want to hit me up and stay anonymous and give me some receipts, I am more than happy to do so. After seeing these alleged receipts, do you think Mick is lying or do you think he's telling the truth? Now I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell because if you don't, Mick is going to tell everyone that you tried to get him to do stuff so you can um, put him in a business deal or something. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. And give this video a big like up because it does help me out a lot. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. And I also like to tell Nick and Mick if I got anything wrong, I am more than happy to be corrected and rectify the information that I have put in this video. And guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another drama video. Too much coffee. Eh?